Well, the new cars are out, and thank goodness they're lower this year. Every time I climb into last year's model, I get a nosebleed. Of course, now you can't get next to a curb and open the door. You have to park in the middle of the street. Or you can drive out in the country. But then every time you open the door, you kill a chicken. And thank goodness they're longer this year. I have the kind of rotten neighbors who are only impressed by long cars. For example, a Cadillac. This is advertised as the car that'll give you prestige. True? It's a car for a guy with an insufficient personality. This year, they've added 24% more visibility. Wonderful. Now you can see out both sides and watch the engine, too. Of course, you can't see out the back. The fins are in the way. But the fins are handy. Sir Malcolm Campbell proved that when you're going 300 miles an hour, they act as rudders. And the new cars have extra headlights. Two regular, two parking, two for turning, two for fog, two for the money, and two for the show. There are 12 headlights. Six are just for daytime. The taillights have been improved, too. When they all go on at once, they spell mother. The new cars have 400 horsepower. One horsepower is the amount of energy required to lift 33,000 pounds one foot in one minute. 400 horsepower gives you the power to raise 13,200,000 pounds one foot in one minute, and what are the Russians going to do about that? Possibly the greatest improvement is the removal of the safety belt. Boy, those things were uncomfortable to sit on. We're constantly making cars longer, faster, and more expensive. The Europeans are making them shorter and cheaper. Well, what do you expect from a bunch of foreigners? Mm -hmm.